welcome to the latest uh, Spotlight demo. Um, we've been hard at work at uh, addressing some, um, some general issues in Spotlight regarding bugs as well as some um, testing performance. And as of this morning, uh, Spotlight 1.5.0 has been released, um, which is most likely kind of the, the last release line that will go out before uh, we release a Spotlight 2.0, which will include this internationalization work. Um, so that has been released, um, and there's been uh, actually some, some good things that have been fixed in there. Um, there has been an issue with the, uh, the tags uh, administrative UI that has, been, that has been addressed in that release, um, as well as a, a, um, a, a bug that's been plaguing us with our browse category metadata display. Um, I'm not going to uh, demo those um, right now as they're not really part of the, the, the VT or work cycle and not part of our, um, uh, what our stakeholders are looking at, but um, it, it has been uh, something that we've been working on this past week. Um, as far as uh, VT related work, uh, we've been pushing forward the uh, pages translation administration. Um, I, in previous videos, you've seen some of the, uh, the mock-ups that Gary showed of this. Um, and so this is um, kind of the dashboard live. Um, so this is just a local uh, version of Spotlight running. Um, what you can see here is that uh, I have one of each kind of page. So I have uh, a home page. Um, I have a feature page and I have an about page. Um, and uh, in this case, uh, I, we just have a Spanish translation, a Spanish language enabled here. Um, so uh, if, I, if we did have other languages, you would see other tabs up here that would allow you to choose um, kind of which language that you would like to, um, to, to translate from, um, just like we've seen in all the other uh, the, the videos for this, these other tabs. Um, you can see I've got a home page here uh, as well as uh, an about page. Um, so if I wanted to translate uh, this feature page, uh, because I haven't done so, I'm offered a link to create one now. Um, I will go ahead and click that and then you'll see that once this uh, dashboard is reloaded, um, I now have uh, a copy of that page. So, um, you know, and you can see that it's new, the timestamp um, is updated. Uh, I'll also point out that we have a recreate link. Um, so say for instance, I had done some, uh, some updates uh, to this Spanish translation for the about page, um, but I, you know, it, some things have happened upstream, maybe in the English translation page, or for whatever reason I need to, I, I wanna start over and retranslate this page from, the, from scratch. Um, so what you can see, uh, I can click recreate. Um, I'm, you know, offered a, a question asking to uh, make sure that I want to recreate it and give me, letting me know what the implications of that are. Um, and then once I do so, uh, I will go ahead and be brought back here. And now you can see um, that I've got a new uh, exact clone uh, of the about page from when I, uh, when I clicked uh, recreate. Um, another kind of interesting feature that we have here is that uh, if I were to do something like, say, for instance, if I were to update the English translation page um, and add some, um, some, some content, uh, if I go back to that dashboard and reload it, um, we're going to indicate to, uh, to the, the uh, user that um, with, with this kind of icon next to the date, uh, as well as bolding the date of the English version um, to indicate that uh, the English version has been updated more recently than the translated page. Um, so this might be an indication to, uh, to the translator that um, they may want to go look at that uh, previous page and, and, and they may have some updates that they need to make. Um, and uh, another thing that, you know, so we can show is that uh, now that this Spanish uh, page is outdated, um, I can go ahead and I can click edit um, and um, and so if I go ahead and I save that change, um, so what you'll see is I'm in the Spanish uh, kind of uh, uh, version of the page. You can see some m many of the UI elements um, are in Spanish. I haven't really done any of the other translations in this exhibit. Um, but now as I kind of switch back from English, um, to Spanish, this is the English About Us page, and then um, you, know, you can see clicking over to the, uh, the, the Spanish version will give us um, that page. Now we have two versions of this page um, that will be rendered based on which locale the user is currently selected.
I think that that's all that we have uh, to show here, and um, we'll uh, have another demo, um, hopefully, of this all uh, wrapped up in, in exhibits in the, in the very near future. Thanks.